Hi, I'm Rayanne and I'm a chef and registered dietitian. Hello, my name is Angela and I'm a chef instructor with Common Threads. And we're going to talk about food labels today. When you go to the grocery store, it is so overwhelming the number of packages and products that you see. And one way that's really easy to tell what's healthy and what's not is to check out a food label. Food packages in grocery stores have a nutrition facts panel. And the serving size right here is the most important piece of information on the label. A serving size is the amount of food that is typically eaten in one serving. And in this case, we have cereal. It's three quarters of a cup. It's a really good place to start. The next place would be check out how many calories are actually in this serving. So you know if you're going to have three quarters of a cup, it's going to be 110 calories. But if you're going to eat two servings, you've got 220 calories for this cereal. The next part of the label that you want to check out is the total fat, saturated fat, trans fat, mono and poly, and the cholesterol and sodium. These ingredients you want to try to limit, not have them be really high. And usually something at three grams of fat, three grams of fat or less are, is usually something that's considered low fat and a good choice. Under carbohydrate, the thing you want to take a look at is the fiber. In this case, you want to try to buy things that have more fiber in them. It's something that that number you want to be high. Then when you keep on going down the list, the different vitamins and minerals that are listed, if the percentages are high, it's a good thing. For an example here, in this case with the cereal, it's 50% iron, and that's actually a great percent of iron for your diet and a good choice if you're trying to in increase your iron intake. All right, so now we're going to um, talk about watermelon sundaes. So here I have this beautiful watermelon. Um, we want to pick our watermelons kind of this way. We want to make sure that it's heavy and that the white, you'll see more of the white in the, in the, on the outside of the watermelon. And then that means that your, uh, your watermelon is ripe and pretty sweet, I think, very sweet. So we have a watermelon here. We want to make it sure that when the children start to cut with the watermelon, that we cut the ends off. We want to make it like a bowl. So I am going to cut the ends off of this watermelon. Not too far into the watermelon because, of course, if it's a nice and juicy watermelon, then you'll have uh, watermelon sauce everywhere. And then, let's see here. I'll go ahead and cut this end off. Mm, I can smell that watermelon. Mm. Mm, it smells good. Look how pretty that looks on the inside. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. I almost can't wait to open it. All right, so now I'm going to cut down the middle. Now I like to cut to where I make sure that the sides are open. And then I come back out. Uh-oh, got a little flick there. And now I'm in half. Mm. Now I have little bowls here that are pretty, pretty sturdy for the children to work with. And I have three different things to show you. One is that this is an ice cream scoop. So we want to take the ice cream scoop, take it on the inside, and have the children kind of twirl it around just as if they were picking out ice cream or scooping out ice cream. I was going to say, this looks like a half a gallon of ice cream that you just I created. Know. There we go. I'm very good at this. That is no. good. <laughs> so now, these may be a little more accessible to you. These are measuring spoons. These are actually very small. And if you get them, the smaller they are, the more people have an opportunity to be able to dip the watermelon out, depending on how much time you have. You also take it, have the children uh, cut inside, and then go ahead and scoop it out. There you have that. Or just a regular spoon. This is a very nice spoon. So we do the same thing. We stick it down, and then we have the children, or you, curve it to the side, and then here you are with another scoop. And there mm -hmm. we are. We have our ice cream scoop. So now um, we can move on to... Are we going to add the different toppings? We are going to add different so, toppings. Right, so something like this is pretty healthy for you, right? Very it's healthy. Very healthy, mm -hmm. great source of vitamin C. There's fiber in here. It's mm -hmm. juicy and Ooh, delicious. Yes. So is ice cream, but this is a great alternative. They mm -hmm. can make their own watermelon sundaes and just put different toppings right here on the uh, watermelon. I, I, I'm excited to see what happens. I know. You know what? One more mm. thing I wanted to say was that mm. the colder the watermelon, of course, the better the dessert will be. So make sure it's nice and cold for them and have it in the the um, refrigerator for the day. So should we add a few toppings? Please, let's do. All right. Well, it's set up. Let's see. Oh, got this yogurt. This our is Greek yogurt. yogurt. Mm -hmm. So let's do one more thing first. We okay. have our, we're going to have some lime. So another thing we want to do is we want to have the kids work with the lime. Two things we can do. This is a hydroplane. You may not have that 
this is okay. And we take it and we uh, take it and we turn it. But we don't want to have the children actually work with this. This is consider this to be like a knife. Then you tap it off and then you have your zest on the bottom. But we need the juice from the inside, so we're going to take it. We're going to use our bridge, cut it open in half, and uh, we want to make sure that we have a bowl. All right, so now we've scooped out our watermelon, and we would like to have some toppings on top. So first, for me, I would like to add my juice. So I have my lime here. I've cut it in half, and we also have some quarters so the kids can come by and squeeze it on whenever they like to do so. So I have here some tongs. You take your lime and you put it on the inside and then you squeeze it on top and all the juices. So you don't have to squeeze it all the way because if someone to pick it up and try to do this, they can. We'll set this to the side for a moment. And I was gonna say, just like so many things in the kitchen, there's so many different ways you can do things. So if you don't have tongs in your classroom, you can just use your you hands. You can use your hand, absolutely. And just, and just squeeze, because your hands are always available, mm -hmm. which I think is a very handy kitchen very tool. Very handy, handy dandy tool. All right, and then we also have our toppings that we're going to use. We have our non-fat yogurt, non-fat Greek yogurt. Really high in protein. Very good, very good. Really good, very tart. And very tart. Delicious. And it would really complement our watermelon. We have granola. Which is just um, packed with lots of um, B vitamins and fiber mm. and really delicious and crunchy. Very crunchy, very good and sweet. And then we have our coconut and our chocolate and our limes. It's two things that are a little bit sweet but really add to the... Uh, texture of the dessert mm -hmm. and just add that really that element that maybe kids love which is just right. a little bit of sugar but you can control it and it also gives them an idea that they're at like an ice cream bar so they yeah. can have the toppings they can choose whichever ones they want and then you know make it make it their own because when they make it they'll eat it all right so let's see here what should we do first um, I for me I like the idea of starting with the yogurt the yogurt mm, okay so I'll take the yogurt Drizzle it mm. on. Looks delicious. Let's see here, make it a little. So, and this is really a healthy dessert too. I mean, you've got your fruit from the, the chef's plate going back to that idea that you want to have half your plate, fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. You've got at least two, two servings of fruit here. You've got your dairy with the yogurt, right, right. which is great. And then if we add a few sprinkles of granola, you've got some grain and a lot of crunch. And I would say these would be your sometimes foods, like right. your, the sweetened coconut, mm -hmm. but again, really delicious. delicious. And maybe chocolate. top it with mm -hmm. a few pieces of chocolate. And I think it looks like a really delicious it does. It watermelon sundae. Mm -hmm.